To locate subcontract change orders, first navigate to Budget and Cost Management and down to Subcontract Change Orders. Once on this page, you can see that I've grouped my SEOs by contract number. To add a new SEO, select the Create New icon in the top right of your screen. It requires you to select the subcontract in question and enter a description. Let's look at a finished SEO. On the detailed page, off to the right hand side of your screen, you can enter the status of the SEO, the contract is captured here, there's a toggle switch for whether this amount can be captured inside of the budget, the category, the notice to proceed date, which is the date that the work is scheduled to start, the number of approved days for work, and the executed date which is the date that the legal documentation was signed. You can also assign this SEO to other users on your team. In the middle of your screen on the subcontract change order tab, you can add your potential change order items. As you can see here, the additional concrete potential change order item was added to this SEO. On the Comments tab, anyone can enter a communication back and forth between the team. And on the Contact Information tab, the two company is already selected in association to the contract. You can also select the to contact and sign by contact. And as always, there is history recorded. Once this SEO is reviewed and approved, the status here can be changed to approved. And the contractor can continue to update and track new changes to the contracts.